All right, so let's talk about polycarbonate, and I should say the brand name Lexan is really popular. So Lexan is a brand of polycarbonate in the same way that plexiglass is a brand name of acrylic, right? So you kind of will commonly hear them, you know, used interchangeably. And you know, Lexan's popular enough that we'll get calls for for customers going, you know, hey, I want this Lexan part. And, uh, you know, a lot of times we've got to go, hold on, are you sure you know what you're asking for? Right. right. So Matt, let's talk about the pros and cons and we'll, we'll, we'll eliminate the brand names for a second. So yes. let's talk about polycarbonate mm -hmm. versus acrylic yeah. and why someone might want one versus the other. Yeah. So it, there are definitely merits to each one, but one definitely outweighs the other in the marine industry for what our applications are. You know, polycarbonate is harder than acrylic by something of like 30 times harder. It's more, more impact resistant. Uh, it's also better from a heat perspective. It can tolerate higher heats up to somewhere around 240 degrees uh, working temperature. Um, the drawback to polycarbonate is that it is more scratch resistant and not UV stable. So it'll yellow and show scratches. To be, to be clear, polycarbonate does scratch more. So it's less scratch resistant. Did I right? say that the other way yeah, around? Yeah, I think so. But well, I might have messed it up. But uh -huh. no, polycarbonate scratches more than acrylic. Yes. Right. So even though it's less impact resistant, it's softer on the surface. Correct. Yeah. And when we think about boat parts, what's the first thing we consider, right? It's going to be in a tough marine environment. There's sand, there's salt, there's UV. UV. Yeah. Yeah. And you've got to make sure that it's uh -huh. going to stand up to those scratches. It's got to stand up to that sunlight. Right. Totally. And that's where the acrylic really outweighs the polycarbonate. It does great on windshields. It does great as live oleds. It lasts longer. It doesn't discolor. It just holds up overall better than polycarbonate. Absolutely. And in other industries, you know, we do see a lot of polycarbonate being used even on our shop floor. We've got some machine guards down there in front mm -hmm. of the saw protecting everybody. Something kicks off. It's going to stop. It's got that impact resistance. Mm -hmm. Perfect for polycarbonate. Not something you'd want to see in acrylic. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Where, you know, if, if something kicks off the machine, hits acrylic, it might break. You know, it could shatter. The polycarbonate's not. You know, but but again, in the marine environment, you know, if it's not UV stabilized, you know, it, it doesn't really have a place in a lot of a lot of applications. So, yeah, you know, generally when someone calls in and they say, hey, I'm looking for either Lexan or polycarbonate, we almost in our head immediately skip and go, OK, you you want acrylic, you know, and, right. and that's not to say that if they talked us through, no, it's actually used for this, that you know, we do stock some polycarbonate. Mm -hmm. We can certainly make stuff out of that. Uh, but worth understanding the basics when it comes to fabrication for the marine environment.